Hello and welcome back, Acron fans, to this second match between Kitan and Vikarin on Rooftop Showdown. Like I said, they've played about five, well, six matches on Rooftop Showdown and a couple other maps, but they have five of them on replays. We're going to be going through all five of them today. So this is the second one. Kitan, once again, is going for Grekim, and Vikarin probably going for CISO. And he is going for CISO, as usual. Building up his three RPs, probably get an importer quite quickly. It worked out very well from last time. He went three RPs, importer, factory. Went for ATHCs because Kitan decided to go for a really quick rush strategy, which did not work out. Bit of a relief, actually. We were somewhat worried about the economy changes allowing Grekim to do all-ins, like really scary all-ins, quite well. So seeing that they can be fairly easily fended off on a map with a short rush distance, I mean, Rooftop Showdown does not have a very large rush distance, should be noted. So given that, I'm not surprised- oh, whoa! Okay, Kitan has decided to move back his Arcticus way into the back of the base. I'm not sure what he's up to here. Normally the Arcticus is being used for defense. You often have it up front tanking. I mean, it's got a thousand health. You can easily have it up front stopping any attack from coming in. I'm rather surprised he's going for the back. My guess is that he wants to use it as a backup. He might be trying to go for the similar strategy, but then have a backup Arcticus that he can build up or rebuild any base class units he needs. However, this is still rather surprising. If he was doing something like that, I would expect the Arcticus would be here, actually, on one of these hexagons. Where it's really out of the way and it's hard to spot. I mean, no one would guess it'd be there. So I'm a bit surprised he's putting it at the back of his base. I, I'm frankly quite flummoxed as to what he could be doing with that. I've seen nothing that he could do there that he couldn't do better somewhere else. Vikran, on the other hand, is going for the exact same build he had before. Three RPs, Importer Armory and... Sorry, Importer Factory. And setting up his Marine at the south and the north. We'll probably be building some RPs as soon as he gets the money for it. And... Sorry, ATHCs first, of course. That was what he did last time. And then getting RPs once he gets his ATCs out, gets safe build-up, and having a special ops going forward, finding the Arcticus back in the tank position, because at this point, Kitan's moves have not propagated towards the future yet. So this is really kind of pointless in terms of battle. It is worth noting what Vikran is doing for the ATCs, but at, after that, we already know this. So Kitan is building up his economy a bit. He's surprisingly not building up his Octo's RPs as much as he should be. I think he might have messed up a bit. And he's going back, he's slowing down, just double-checking, making sure everything is right. Vikarin, on the other hand, is once again getting his ATHCs. This game, I'm guessing Titan will not be going for quite as heavy of a rush, so these ATHCs will probably be fended off with some Octos and Faros, because Titan's likely expecting them since they happened last time. And then from there, Vikarin will likely get machinery, and Titan will probably get advanced structures, and they'll both try to keep themselves going into the mid-game. I wouldn't... I mean, Titan may try to go for it again. He may decide, you know what, I think I can pull this off again. But I kind of doubt it. He is, however, going for pretty fast QP. So that one pull of QP is probably going to be either a mistake or going to be used to build Octopods. And one Octopod will do decently well against ATHCs. So I'm guessing I would see that happening. Having an Octopod, building that up. And I'm just a bit surprised I don't see it. He has the money for it, but he is not going for it yet. While Vikran, on the other hand, is going to be getting a mech. That's actually kind of surprising. Mechs are rarely gotten except for macrofabs. They're not bad units, it's just you need a lot of them to be effective against air, and they are kind of slow. So they're pretty good for air defense, but Kitan isn't going for air yet. He's not actually going for anything yet. I'm really quite surprised. I'm not sure what he's up to. Now, he has got that RP built up, so he is definitely getting that economy going. i just not sure what he was up to. I must be missing something. He must be on the minimap somewhere. Mm, no, I do not see Kitan up to anything at this point. This is rather odd. Vikran, on the other hand, further in the future, has definitely built himself up. He's getting his mass ATHCs going. So my guess is that Macrofab will be built from the mech. Where is that mech? Here we are. I guess the mech will build a Macrofab and then use that to build up some Mar tanks. Seems a very likely outcome. Ah, here we go. Now Kitan's building stuff again. I don't know what he was up to. He must have been twiddling his thumbs. I really have no idea what he was doing. Anyhow, getting an Octo up, getting that to fend off the Special Ops. And it won't be able to do it on its own. The Special Ops will just barely live, as you can see. It looks like Kitan is jump jumping back, double-checking. Vikarin is aborting the Special Ops move, though. Or delaying it, at least. We're quite a ways back from when it actually happened. And it looks like... Ah, here we are. Here's the Octopod I was looking for. I don't know why I didn't spot that earlier. Like I said, I... Early Octopod. Makes a lot more sense. So, Kitan is going for Early Octopod, and... 
Whew. Okay, I was a bit concerned there. For a second, I thought the replay wasn't playing back properly because that was a problem which is supposed to be fixed in this recent patch. But it looks like we're fine. Okay, good. Whew. So in case anyone's wondering, everything looks fine. And the Octobot is, like I said, dealing with these ATHCs quite handily. A lot more health, a lot more firepower. So this Octobot, very good Octobot, doing a great job dealing with the ATHCs. Vicarin will likely be building up... Hmm, right now he doesn't have a lot of tech for it. It's no QP to build the tech to actually build up anything else. So this Octopod is going to have free range for a little while. Looks like enough ATCs, however, will be able to pull it down. These two ATCs together are actually getting Walt distracted. It is focusing on the factory, but Kitan, about 10 seconds down from here, is probably going to be... Yes, he is fixing that up. He is going for the ATCs, and they will be going down fairly quickly. But it looks like they will be able to take on the Octopod in time. So... So, Vikran has spent it off the rush. A very effective rush, though. It did at least defend stuff for Kitan. He should be able to build up from here, get a stronger economy going. And from Vikran's point of view, nothing is... Okay, so let's go from Kitan's point of view. Kitan sending up an Octo. Just direct... No, he's sending up an Octo out. Not really doing anything with it, except progenerating with it. He... Or should be progenerating with it. I don't see why he wouldn't be at this point. There we go. Going into progen mode. Building up another... Seppi, probably going to build up Faro, no, build up Octo, build up another Seppi, get a Reef, use that Reef to get advanced structures. Because at this point, the Octopod, Octopod is actually running back home. Okay, the Reef will not be useful, the Octopod is going to die, as you can see before that happens. The Octopod is still, still quite effective. Still pushed Vicarin away, still bought Chitin some time, but I don't think Chitin used that time as best as he could have. It took him a while to get that Seppi. And he doesn't have any QPRPs for actually using, or getting technology, using technology. So the Seppi, the Reef from the Seppi will only be useful for building up a stronger defense. He will be able to use it to regenerate health, to... That's it. Regenerate health. That's it. That's all you can do with it. He can't actually do anything beyond that. That being said, health regeneration is good. It is good to have, but... The thing is... You, he really does need the air. He could really use the air. He doesn't need it, strictly speaking, but he could use the air units technology, or even just a dome. A dome would actually do fairly well against this. The two ATCs are doing a very valiant job. Not even valiant. They're doing a very effective job. I only say valiant when stuff is trying and not actually working out. <laughs> if it's trying and failing, it's valiant. If it's trying and succeeding, it's just doing well. Yeah, the ATC is doing a great job harassing here. There is little that Kitan is doing right for a defense. Those, that, another Octopod would be great. If he had gone back in time, moved back one of the RPs onto QP, or just built another QP RP, but with all the Octos he's building, he could have had a couple more RPs at this point. I'm a bit surprised he's just going for Octos over and over again. They are not getting to the ATCs in time. And the ATCs are fast units. They can just run away if they have to. And two more ATCs coming in from Vikran. Now, Vikran is not going for tech. I'm not surprised. I'm a bit surprised I don't see the Macrofab up, because it's the sort of thing he'd go for. And, of course, he's getting some RPs everywhere around the map. Though, this is not very well defended. So, if Kitan managed to break out of this, he would be able to sweep around and deal with it. But I don't like Kitan's actually trying to break out of this. It looks like he's... He is trying to beat off the, the ATHCs, but that's not working out very well. He's not building up any units other than Octos to deal with them. Heck, even Faros would actually do... Like, a couple Faros, that would do decently well. They aren't great against ATHCs. They do lose in a straight-up fight. But they are cheaper. So I'm a bit surprised he's going for so many Octos and no Octopods or anything. He has, however, managed to fend off the ATHCs at great cost. So Vikarin is at an advantage right now. He is still streaming in ATHCs and his mech is out in the middle of the map. Looks like it will likely build up a Macrofab fairly soon. So yeah, Kitan not going for a lot of offensive power. Or, well, he's going a bit more for economy. He's getting another RP. But still not going for a lot of offensive power, not even going for any range units to deal with this. So his Faro is going to die very quickly. And let's jump back about a minute, no, half a minute from here. Where he does have a couple Octos, one of them going to, no, he's not using them to fight, he's going to approach him with them. And hopefully going to be building up something useful. Because clearly the Octos are not doing well. Like I said, Faro support on top of the Octos would probably do a lot better than just the Octos on their own. And no, he's continuing to build Octos. Like I said, Octopods would be the best option, but he did not go for QPRPs up at this point. Except for that one pull of QP where he built he built an Octopod. And that worked well. And here we go. There's the Macrofab I was expecting. So Vikran has gone for Proxy Macrofab. And also just sweeping around the north, make sure that Chitin is not going for expansions. I'm a bit surprised he's sweeping down the south since that's a safer expansion to take, but 
He isn't, so Chitin could have had a safe expansion there as well. Chitin, however, is going to be continuing to try to defend as best he can, just sending wave after wave of Octo at Vikarin, not really doing too much on its own, and Martanks will be forthcoming quite quickly, because that's about the only thing that Vikarin can build with this level of technology that he'll need. Frigates can also be built, but there's no area that's coming up right now, so there's not much point. So, Martanks are likely to come up, and really, Chitin has wasted a ton of cash. He's probably wasted at least 450 LC just on these Octos alone. And, of course, Vikarin has spent around the same as you convert for QP to L LC, but his units are alive. And actually, no, not even that much. Now he's spending more because of the Martanks. But really, that lack of QP is hurting Chitin a lot, because Octopods, as we saw before, do very well. And if we're, and if with this Reef helping it out, I mean, that Octopod took out quite a few ATCs, and with the Reef support, it would help. But no, it looks like Chitin has surrendered. So that was game two, Chitin not being able to deal with a ATC and Mar Rush coming at him. So it'll be going on to game three fairly shortly. Just 